this might not be what you want to hear, but I always ask myself, if I believe this company can do $100 million in revenue, and that's kind of the rough and tough um, number I look for in the future. This video is brought to you by Procopia Law, the recommended law firm of Founders Floor. The difference between zero and like 500K is kind of noise. It's good to see that customers are willing to pay it's good to see the customer that the, the company can command a price point where, where the register rings. But in the grand scheme of things, it's a very small amount. And the other thing I find is startups chronically underprice their products in the beginning because you want customers. And so you're like, I don't want price to be an issue. So I'm like, all right, this 500K, those customers in four years can be paid $2 million. So for me, the big question is, is the market big? And do I think, this is a good one. Do I think this can be a company that has a margin structure I can live with? Like I spent a lot of time thinking, like, how does this company eventually turn into a business that has really, really good margins so that they can, they have the flexibility to spend that money on sales or marketing. It's why I don't do much in e-commerce. I like struggle to find businesses where net of the marketing expense, unless you're a vertically integrated brand, it's really hard for me to see how you make a really great business selling other people's stuff. Like it's really, not impossible, it's really hard. So I always ask myself, like, is this a good business period? If the answer is no, no amount of revenue is interesting to me. If the answer is yes, then I say, okay, well, like, what signals would I need to see um, in order to believe that this is the right company?